But just for sake of showing this, I'm going to go ahead and crank it to corruption 500 so you guys get to see how dangerous it could be right out the gate. Just so you understand just why it doesn't matter as much as it may seem that I have all of those bonuses. This is how the cleaver works, by the way, just throws a cone of blades in front of you. Notice how little damage I'm dealing to these because of Corruption 500. They are so durable. <laughs> Like, you have to be ridiculously powerful to handle starting Corruption 500. This is how you humble yourself when you start getting a little too big for your britches in this game. Just crank the Corruption and understand, no, you are not that strong. <laughs> Reality is a harsh mistress. And you will be hounded to death by just an army of lizards that are indestructible. <laughs> Ow! One hit and nearly all of our health is gone. <laughs> uh, the only thing keeping us alive is the fact that I have just enough move speed to stay ahead of the blob of death. But I can't get at the ones that I can kill. I, I would need to have had a, a better weapon to start with for something like this, because the cleaver is great, but it needs to have time to get some damage behind it before it does anything. And at Corruption 500, that's just not happening. We killed one enemy during all of that. We did 11,000 damage and killed one guy. <laughs> uh, let that be a lesson. Let that be a lesson in that all of that meta progression doesn't matter if you set the setting stupid enough. Let's try Corruption 100. I think we can actually do 100. I think we can physically start at 100 and be okay. We may not make it past Act 1, but I think we can at least survive on 100. Judging from the fact that we could at least kill something at 500, I think... 100 is doable. Because they basically should be at roughly a fifth of the power that they'd been given. Yeah, see, these are dying. You note the fact that they did a lot of damage to me immediately, though. So I really need to be careful about not getting touched. Like, this is turbo danger mode. And I, if I remember right, you don't actually get that much of a experience bonus on the higher corruption settings. You just have a better meta currency payout for taking the more dangerous, higher risk path. There's Crystal Sword. Which, the crystal sword's funny just because it's just a swipe of a sword, pretty much. Just me. I'm gonna slap you. I'm gonna get you. Give me some more power. Though the pikes, as you can see, look very ridiculous, too, because you're just jamming a metal bar out of your face somehow. I'm just jabbing that at things. Yeah. I'm puking pikes at you. Bleh, 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 bleh. And if you're wondering, yes, you can manage to make these pikes like screen length. And it is as ridiculous as you might think. want more pikes, but, well, I guess we're just gonna keep going pike, because that's what the game's giving me, and I don't feel like re-rolling it constantly right now. We did plenty of that with the gunslinger, and it didn't work out.
heal on level up. I'm probably going to need that. Magic Wisp I don't really want. I have nothing against Magic Wisp. It's just something I ended up using a lot of when I was playing in the past, which is why I don't use it anymore. Same with the Magic Wand. I just used it way too much. Because you basically just summon a swarm of angry bees. <laughs> and it just gets stupid. And with the Magic Wand after a bit. So part of me does want to, like, go to the lowest projectile count I can with the Magic Wand and just summon just, like, one giant ball. That does a stupid amount of damage. Let's see what happens with that. But I, I just feel like that would just get me killed as well. Because all it would take is it chasing the wrong target first, and I just would die. I don't like the wind blade that much. It just sends a blade in either direction. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that. Look at how much these guys are surviving already. This is why I'm like, I don't know if we'll even get out of Act 1 with 100 corruption starting. <laughs> it's a little stupid of me to have done this. But this is fun. I just want to see if I can. Though, I probably should have ranked down to D if I was going to do these higher corruption runs. That would have been smarter of me. When have I done things that are smart, though? I mean, really. More often than not, I do things that shoot me in the foot more than I do things that are smart. Case in point, Death Hour would be smart. We're taking size up instead. not really doing great on killing i'll take the timed survival which could get really bad for me too though because they'll just keep spawning till that minute's up and that could get out of hand too i find it very funny and sad at the same time by the way that every time i've picked a starting weapon it's like been immediately overridden by something else like in this case the pike is proving to be more effective than the the cleaver is just because i have to stay far enough back from things that i can't really risk using the cleaver to its potential yet once we have some projectile duration and the waves last longer, it will start proving its own in a bit more. More projectiles will also help. And I don't even know if you guys can even tell that the crystal sword is there right now. Because it just occasionally swings and blends into the cleaver or projectiles. <laughs> but trust me, the crystal sword's there. It exists. There we go, the cleaver's maxed out, that'll help. And we actually held out in that better than I thought. We're, we're starting to get our footing. We're starting to go places. What I probably shouldn't be doing is going my full no defense, max crazy attack strat that I've been doing for this, is survival is gonna be an issue. Ooh, we have to find uh, over a thousand gold. You don't need to tell me twice. Gold is one of my favorite things, even though I don't like the color of it. But yeah, if you didn't know, I don't actually like the color gold. Gold color, just kind of meh. I much prefer silver. Okay, 
This is getting dangerous again because they're spawning a lot And I need to get gold in order to get out which means I have to risk my neck going for the gold that's under the enemies <laughs> The cleaver's best advantage by the way as you might have noticed is the pushback it has that's what's keeping them off of me for the most part right now is the pikes dealing the damage and the cleavers pushing them back to keep them in better pike range. Problem is, I'm having trouble spotting all of the little blue lizards that want me dead. <laughs> so sometimes I'm tripping over them because I didn't notice them. Ah, I didn't get the void thing fast enough because I was getting chased around too much. We do have a decent amount of money though. Ooh. Increases purification, which reduces negative effects of corruption, of course, of course. 150% purification multiplier. And I wonder what the light spirit combines with, because almost all these spirits have combined with at least one weapon to make something really cool. So I think I'm going to grab it, even though I'm not sure about that entirely. We'll find out. Is the thing is we barely have any purification, so I don't know if that purification multiplier is going to do anything for us. It's also a little bit of a cop-out to boost purification when the point of this was high corruption. But at the rate we're going, I think I'm going to need to modify it down a little bit just to make it possible for us? Because this is happening. Oh god. Help! Send help! <laughs> SOS! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yep, there it is. There's the death. Oh boy. Uh, so that might have been a mistake. <laughs> I'm gonna keep fiddling with the corruption value because I think there is a, a space where we can function. Just, uh, that wasn't it. <laughs> like, we, we were holding, but it was iffy. Let's try 60. And I arguably should change the talents we're using. Oh, so the higher levels of the Monster Hunter talent is reducing the requirement, but not reducing the amount it goes up. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, the Death Aura ring might actually... The Death Aura talent, rather, might be a winner, too. Increasing area size by default. So yeah, let's grab the death aura bonus. Uh, five meter range for dealing extra damage now for that. That's not bad. Just granting infinite piercing to projectiles is absurd. Though it is only a 15% chance. Start with Fire Spirit at level 1 from the Flame Ring. Like, obviously, the multi-shot one is ridiculously good, as we prove time and again, which is why I'm not using it. Uh, I mean, if I want to go for a low weapon count which is kind of what I was trying to do, and then Desperation kind of made me grab other weapons. I sh really should go with Weapon Specialist again. This way we stop getting weapons that replace the thing I'm trying to use immediately. But rather than use the Cleaver, we'll, we'll show off the Crystal Sword properly now. Don't get me wrong, it's a really stupid idea to be raising the corruption when I haven't even succeeded on rank C yet. 
But just think how much sweeter the victory will be if we manage to make it. <laughs> and like, I could use a setup that I know works and just go full easy mode if I really wanted to guarantee success. Okay, yes, yeah, these things are dying in one hit from this, so we should be okay. So I, I think we've reduced the corruption enough that things are viable. Though the Crystal Sword does hit harder than the Cleaver at the start, I do believe. There we go. Swinging twice. That's going to be a big help. Just keep making the sword stronger. Just slap him around with a beam of light. Yes, more power for it, yes. Yeah, we have we have decent control of the field in front of us at the moment. Problem is we're not killing quickly. Like right now we are struggling to kill volume. But part of that's because there's not volume of targets in reach of the sword. Sure, put Thunder Spirit on the sword. That'll help some of the reach issue a little bit. Because you can already see it chaining through enemies occasionally. There we go, three attacks on the sword. Proper combo going now instead of just eh, I swing sword. We swing sword back and forth. Which is clearly a massive improvement. Keep raising our experience gain. We can go on a run of chests here, which will help greatly. There we go. Invincibility for four seconds after we get hit. That'll be a huge help as well. Maxed out Crystal Sword already. Fantastic news. Everybody is pleased with this news. Oh, I, I misread the pathing there. I thought I could reach both of those, but we can get a question mark. Eeny, meeny, miny, that one. Ooh. Logam 1. Recognizing the blacksmith's puppet-like movements, you instantly recognize he's possessed by the god Logam. Without hesitation, you offer your hand, allowing this luminous hammer to strike. This is how you unlocked the equipment system in the first place. You got smacked in the head with a hammer. The hammer hits your hand, and a surge of knowledge flows through you. Your understanding of equipment deepens. You can now upgrade equipments. That's why I couldn't do that when I was trying to do it before, is I needed to unlock it. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. And now we just whip our sword back and forth until we win. Which really, you really shouldn't be doing that in public. Just gotta say. Raise our attack speed because we're gonna need it. We're just engaging Wiimote mode now and just waggling as hard as we can in the hopes of success. Waggle, waggle. Waggle for victory. Let's 
to. Oh yeah, it was just trying to tell me that I have the thing to put on the sword, but it automatically put it on the sword, and since I have no other weapons, I don't need to think about that. Back to waggling. Not sure. It'll slow it down, but it now hits like a truck. That's fine. Sure, go ahead and put Fire Spirit on him too. Why not? Fear my super sword. Yum. Make the Rune of Heaviness stronger. We don't have a ton of money and we don't have the cost reduction right now, so I'm not gonna bother going to that shop. <clears throat> Otherwise I would've went straight for it, but with only 3,000, I don't think we're getting that much out of a shop. I'm not 100% sure if corruption increases shop prices or not. I genuinely don't remember. It feels like a logical thing that it would affect, but I couldn't guarantee that. God, we need- we either need Void Spirit or some pickup range, because getting at those crystals is a problem right now. These owls survived just enough to really make it difficult to get at what's under them. We kind of have to do this, just clean up after the fact. And just hope for the best, which is not ideal. I really should start banishing the other weapons since I'm kind of committing to the just use the crystal sword plan here, which is a, not a good idea in our current situation. But God damn it, Brain has decided this is the joke I'm going for, so that's what we're doing now. What I'm trying to say is my brain's getting me in trouble again, otherwise known as what happens every five minutes. Speaking of bad ideas, let's go to an arena where we have to kill over 500 enemies. <laughs> oh, and there's things with range here. Oh no. This this could end in tears. Did I say could? I mean probably will. Oh boy, there's so many already. Good news, target rich environment. Bad news, ah! <laughs> While we have the shield up is a good time to go for it. Minus 90% range. Ooh. No. Yes. It's not as much as I would like, but oh, fuck. Yes, give me all the little bats. They're easy to kill. Ah! Oh, that was not food, that was money. Okay, we're okay, we're okay. We're out of here. <laughs> that almost was so bad. I'm so glad I'm starting to get my dash aim back. Oh, God. <sighs> 
I'm really gonna stop dancing on the ragged edge of disaster. But at the same time, it's more fun when you dance on the ragged edge of disaster. Will I fall over? I don't know. <laughs> maybe I will, maybe I won't. Okay, these are all properly equipped. Okay, very good. I'm hoping that the icicles will start giving us a hand in clearing. This is just too small a card. I don't want that. Slowing them down with the range we fight at doesn't matter. These bears are going to be the problem with the dashes they do. Because I don't think even having a slow effect would matter against them with how they just kind of zip across the field sometimes. Like, I'm pretty much having to focus on staying ahead of him in particular. Oh no, you ain't, you ain't leaving. You started this fight, buddy. Now you're going to die. Health regen won't help in our situation. I'm actually starting to grab defense because I need it. <laughs> what a world I live in where I actually have to have defense. A good offense is unfortunately just not a good enough defense anymore. That's not to say that our offense is great enough right now either. But I'm not getting the things I need to make our offense great enough to make this work either at the moment. Ooh, fold. Not actually a bad idea right now. Though it would reduce our area size, which we kind of need. So no, we'll hold off on that at the moment. It's not a terrible idea, though. There is potential in making that work in our current situation. Uh, projectiles don't matter to us, but power does. I mean, technically projectiles might matter to our icicle shards. I'm not 100% sure how that works. If we didn't have this shield, we would have been dead a while ago. I just want to make that clear so everybody understands the position we've been in this entire time. Without that, that invulnerability, we would have died a long time ago. Actually, Brawl might be necessary to use here. Since I have to dash through things so much, being able to slam into them might actually work out in our favor. Tempting, but no. I'm I'm banishing that so I don't get tempted to bail myself out that way. My goal is to at least get through Act One with this setup. Getting the boss is gonna be tricky. Every four seconds, protect you from one hit and emit a powerful explosion that damages enemies based on the number of fire cards I have. Ooh, okay. Every four seconds, trigger your on-take damage effect. Oh no! Oh no! Hey, in, in case people haven't put two and two together, what I just realized when I saw that is... We have a few seconds of invulnerability every time we take damage right now. And I think the cooldown lines up with the four seconds on this, so we would be able to just keep triggering that invulnerability without risking getting hit. That could be huge. This also could be huge, but in our current situation, it's useless. This would be nice, but getting through a lot of trolls would be risky. That said, 
it does give troll blood and an extra artifact so we'd be running around with double health basically and an extra thing but i think i'm gonna go ahead and take the witch cleanup because not only are witches gonna be fragile enough we can chop through them so that's a oh god there's more than witches though uh oh uh oh uh oh mistakes have been made Mistakes have been fucking made. I should have known the witches were gonna have friends. No. Problem is we're out of ways to reroll now. That's the biggest problem we have. You know, other than the very high likelihood of death coming at this rate. Yep, there's mistake number one. wondering why my prioritization is the way it is i'm trying to keep those projectiles down i can keep the projectiles down we have hope if i don't keep the projectiles from getting out of hand we are hosed his enemies i can dodge projectiles and enemies are going to be really hard for me to keep ahead of enough ignoring the fact that i'm already kind of on my way to death regardless here yep there it is too many couldn't keep up with all of it anymore. <sighs> that was getting to be a good setup, but I got just a little too greedy for my own good. We have not had a run that's lasted more than 10 minutes ever since I turned up the corruption, have we? I'm pretty sure every single run has ended sub 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, God. There we go, let's start with more power. Any day now, game. Come on, there you go. Okay, let, let's turn the bonus corruption off, because that's clearly not happening. What challenges do we have here? Drop chance, gold gain, soul coin gain. Oh yeah, this cuts all of your meta progression up to tier F out. Which, that's not actually that bad. So I tell you what, let's give that a shot. We'll go in here soul limited. And... No, I'm kind of fine with keeping Weapon Specialist, just for this. We did at least boost the level of some of these talents a bit by doing the stupid runs. Okay, let's see if I can pull this off. We, I've beaten Rank D before because it ends at Zone 3 instead of going to Zone 4. So in theory, I should be able to do this. It'll immediately feel significantly easier considering we ranked down and we took away the corruption. <laughs> but I'll also be a bit weaker because I don't have all of my meta bonuses. Like, look how much slower we are, for example. I'm actually going to need to spend some 
some cards on getting some move speed. Look how many less rerolls we have. We don't even have rarity rerolls anymore. Our starting crit chance is atrocious. It's oh, everything is pain. Saddest day. Just such a tragedy. Slowly chopping our way to victory. Uh, honestly, yeah, Thorn with this is actually going to be worthwhile. And I don't have to limit myself as to how many weapons, unless I want to here. Which I'm probably going to take a couple just to make sure that I have some backup options to make sure we actually get through the challenge instead of fucking around and not getting anywhere. I, I feel like we've had enough failure for a little bit now. It's time to have success. Or at least progress. These are not what I need. That's definitely something I need. Our starting power in such so much lower. Oh. Pain, misery, whoa. Uh, villagers in danger. A group of monsters are nearby and a group of villagers are in a dire situation. What are you going to do? Corruption less than 20. Fight the monsters and save them. You'll likely take damage, but you are a hero first of all. Give them something to help them. Give away a soul card it is not much if it can save precious lives or ignore them and just let them die. We'll go ahead and fight the monsters. Prepare yourself to fight the monsters and save those poor souls. The gods are greatly pleased. Increase soul coins gained by 10% for this world. So our payout at the end is going to be 10% higher now. I would have rather something that benefited me in the run itself, but it's fine. At least it's a benefit. That is 100% a take what I can get situation. Because it's already happened, so it's not like I can change how that plays out, you know? We already did a run with the Thunderstaff. If, like, the bow or crossbow shows up, I'll probably take those since you haven't been shown those yet. I might take the fire ring back because the fire ring is just really good. So if Death Aura shows up, I'll, I might just grab that instead. I prefer the Fire Ring, but Death Aura is useful. I know. I prefer something that has fire attached to it, huh? Crazy concept there. Just as crazy as how Twitch was recommending me using the Retro category when I looked at everything today, I'm like... Gee, I wonder, could that be something I fucking do all the time? 
Ooh, every tainted card level increases your max health multiplier and max health regen multiplier by 2%. Tainted cards being the, the low level, the low rarity level versions of cards. For those that don't know what that all meant. That would actually be really good for the, the challenge where you have to only take tainted cards half off in the shops. That'll be great. Void spirit. Nice. Okay. That'll help us keep ahead of things. Oh, hey, the quest's back again, huh? What do you know? We don't have a reason to do the witch one this time, though, because we don't have anything that benefits from triggering our on-hit effects. Going into the troll mountain just seems like a terrible idea, though. Uh, honestly, we'll do the salamander hunt. We should be able to handle that. Hopefully. He says, suddenly doubting everything he's just said. 1,320 of them, huh? Well, you know, maybe this wasn't my finest idea. <laughs> maybe this suddenly was a bad idea. Oh, God, look at how many of them there are. <laughs> oh, no. So if you thought I regretted my decision, uh, I don't yet, because I'm not dead yet, but uh, there's potential for me to regret right about now. I would be lying if I said I wasn't at least pondering the concept of regret. As I'm being chewed to death by an army of lizards. Okay, there's Death Aura. That'll help. Everything that walks past that green line now takes damage. Reached 0.20 or less power. What? Did I lower my power and didn't realize it? I might have made a mistake. Hang on. What happened here? Ow. Oh, no. Hmm. Hmm, that could be a problem. Hey. Hmm. Yikes. <laughs> Hello, no damage. Huh. Uh. Uh. It's a good thing these guys are fragile then, huh? Because otherwise this would be a real issue. That explains why I'm doing single digit damage. Hmm. I feel like I've made a mistake. Hmm. Thing is, I don't know why my power got that much lower. Or so suddenly. Like obviously the, the light armor is reducing my power. We know that. So we're at negative power base stat-wise right now. But I don't have a negative multiplier. Oh no, I know what happened. We started gaining a positive multiplier, but since our stat is negative, we're getting a bad result. Right. I did explain that that was a thing that could happen before, didn't I? Yeah, huh. It's okay, we can fix this. I could also just take the light armor off, but, you know. That, we can fix this, it'll be fine. See, we survived that with abysmal power. Maybe that's why we've been having so much trouble recently, is the, the negative power was kicking in worse than I thought. Hmm... There's a possibility there, and I'm not happy thinking about it, but... It's definitely something that could be true. It is suddenly pouring rain, by the way, so if, if we lose power again, well, don't be shocked if the stream suddenly goes poof. Go ahead and upgrade the sword, grab another card selection, get some attack speed, okay. The fact that we have to kill elites here might be a real issue though. Dink, 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 dink. Okay, we are moving his health bar, just not very quickly. 
We also have massive sword spin that I should have been using against all those salamanders. But I honestly kind of forgot that it was a concept. But it'll be doing a great job for us here, keeping the mass off of us while we deal with the treants. Keep raising our base power so we actually get out of the negatives. Okay, four consecutive attacks is gonna make a very big difference. Speed. Waggle harder, damn it. Use your Wemo powers for justice. Okay, I did say I was gonna show you guys the bow and the crossbow, so we'll grab the crossbow. This way we have a little bit of projectile support as well. So I'm not completely reliant on getting into stabbing range. Not that stabbing range is particularly short at this point, as has been made very clear by the fact that I'm hitting like half the screen with every swing. But you know. A little bit of plinking damage never hurt to have. Okay, see? We're fine. Everything's okay. Where's our power at now? Uh, we are still at the lowest it can be. Because we still haven't made it up to the amount we need to dig out of that, it looks like. Which, if we take that off, yeah, we, we're only barely in the positives for base power, which is why this is such an issue. If we take that off, we go up to 4.4 or 4 power. I think I kind of have to. Otherwise, <laughs> average damage 17. Oh, no. Yeah, I, I think at least for a little while I have to take that off or we're just hosed. Take the weighted training clothes off. Yeah, look at that. We're dealing triple digits suddenly again. <laughs> yeah, I think having that light armor on was the worst idea I could have had. I, I knew the corruption was making things harder. I did not even consider the fact that I was nerfing my own power by enough of a degree that that was going to be that much of an issue. I really should have looked at the numbers sooner. That's completely my own fault. Might want to see if I can take that armor into the forge and get rid of that negative or something. The, the YouTube thoughts, though. Hello there. Hey there, ABC. I'm figuring if I playlist out the entire session but split this into every run, people basically get the best of both worlds in that situation. This way, they can watch an individual run if they want to, or they can watch the entire session without having to sit there and click through a bunch of videos. I'm just talking about how I'm going to split this VOD up into sections for YouTube later. Is every day after a stream the VOD goes up on YouTube, so... 
trying to think of best options for for the viewer on that one. So it's always in a constant state of experimentation. using Thunder Spirit a lot. Let's just keep raising the crossbow up. I don't really want any of these, but we are very slow, so we'll take the move speed. Okay, we killed enough champions. Now we just need to hold out till the timer runs out. Keep swinging, just keep swinging, just keep swinging. It is nice having a mix of a targeted weapon and an auto fire weapon because the crossbow, as you might have noticed, automatically targets highest health nearby, whereas I'm still aiming the sword. Well, as much as you can aim something that's hitting like a half circle in front of you. <laughs> Take the greed bonus so we can get more gold going. Keep raising our attack speed since we are still fairly reliant on the sword to defend ourselves. So we need all the speed we can get to keep that sword in front of us. Especially in an arena like this, we're going to need to be able to keep the numbers down. As I demonstrated before when we were doing the higher difficulty runs, if you can't keep ahead of the numbers, you're just done for. As another under the hood discussion, as far as the redeem for guessing a game, I'm probably going to bring it back here soon, but I'm probably going to limit it to like one or two per person to limit out how much it gets used a little bit more. I feel like that'll be a fairer way to keep it in play, but not have it overtake what's going on. I'm pretty sure I can set those settings appropriately for that. It'll really depend on how much control over that I have, which I'm pretty sure I can do exactly what I'm planning to do with that. But we will find out when I take a look at that probably tonight. Mm, yeah, because that still leads to the chest, so that's fine. We'll go that way. That's not enough of a power increase right now for that idea to be good. Just keep waggling, just keep waggling. Maximum Wii game, go! Actually gonna take some defense multipliers this time. Both to make up for the fact that I took the armor off and to, you know, make sure we don't die in one hit this time. As much as goofing around and doing it that way has been fun, I I do actually want to get a win today.
we are not gonna be able to kill enough to get that optional objective done. There's just not enough appearing on screen in range quick enough. I would have to have been like dashing around trying to get as many targets in reach as possible. And even then, with the amount of damage we're doling out, it's not gonna work. Oh, uh, that's fine, yeah. Also, speaking of behind the scenes things, I do have another model design basically ready to go. I just need to sit down and actually finish rigging the damn thing. And I keep putting off doing it. Because I just have not had the, the rigging headspace lately. But I do have a couple keys I've been given that I intend to do something with. One of which I'm waiting to do until I have said new model because they will match quite nicely. And that's not meaning that this model is going to be gone, just means there's going to be a rotation that's going to start being more available, just like when I had the PNGs all over the place. There will be a redeem available for those to swap and all of that once it gets set up a bit more. I just gotta actually finish any of them. <laughs> Is technically there's actually more like three or four that could be finished rather quickly. I just need to actually sit down and finish them. Is the the remade it base model still needs to actually get rigged and brought back into rotation as well? And then the Dracula model just needed its rigging touched up and it can be put back into rotation. Like, th there's a lot that's going to be happening here, or before too long. I just need to actually have the time, energy, and everything to sit down and do it. And I still need to do a, a special for y'all since you got on us past the, the 400 follower mark. But when I posted around for input for it, it didn't happen. Kill them all. So that kind of got stalled a bit. That's the idea. We're going to just keep killing. weeks ago I know oh, I think it's been a bit we, we've been up past that mark for a little bit now problem is I've just been doing so many other things that I didn't have time to sit there and create something special completely on my own there and since I didn't get anything to work with it just kind of stalled out and didn't happen we had had a big jump, so I wasn't prepared ahead of time. So it may just turn into I wait till 450 and then we do something bigger. We don't have to do something big every time. I had just had intentions of doing something and it just didn't happen. Uh, sure. Double my damage but reduce my health. That's fine. In an unsurprising turn of events, social media was not exactly super helpful <laughs> in terms of, of feedback.
It can be a great source of information sometimes, but feedback is not social media's best feature. <laughs> or in a lot of cases. There we go. And you know, I may as well take that too. Just buy out the whole shop. Now, can we beat the boss? That's going to be the better question. Which, since I've reduced my max health a fair bit and dumped a bit of my defense, it could go really badly. We'll find out. The bright side is we're actually doing real damage now. tree down before it gets out of hand. Clean up everything with a quick spin. There we go. I'm trying not to use too many of those spins right now because I don't think we're going to charge it back up quick enough to be able to use it against everything that's going to spawn when we fight the boss. And that's going to be the idea I have, pretty much, is I'm going to use the spins to break his invulnerability as quick as I can. <laughs> Hang on, you just asked a lot all in one go there, ABC. <laughs> the sword goes in the direction the mouse is pointing, and it goes in that cone you see it going in. I'm not clicking, per se, with this setup. There are weapons that involve clicking, but not that one. There is a boss fight that's going to be coming as soon as I activate that last altar. You'll see what that is here in a minute. And I don't know what you're asking about with test skill. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to give me more information than that for me to understand what you're asking about. Exactly what you see. Your skills are dependent on the weapons you've chosen off the cards you get along the way. So my only abilities are swing sword back and forth and the crossbow bolts that are flying out of me. That's pretty much all I've got other than the sword spin that's because of a talent I picked that's associated with this crystal sword that I'm using. That's all I got. <laughs> I could have other things, but I did not pick them, so I do not have them. And we are doing so little damage to this thing that we are in trouble as expected. This is A, going to take a while, B, going to end in death. Alright, ABC. Thankfully, we do have his minions under control pretty well. But this is the phase that's going to be an issue. Can I clear enough to do something here? And I ran out of the ability to spin, so this could get really bad. Okay, we got through it. Now I just need to finish him off before he can kill me. might be easier said than done, especially when he starts shooting rapidly again. Is the likely situation that's going to happen here is I'm going to dash out of the way of his shots into his minions. Oh, we got him. We're okay. We did it. That's the first boss dealt with. Okay. Ooh, the Volt Strike Gauntlet. We just unlocked this today. When you dash, gain the Volt Charge buff for 10 seconds. Having the Volt Charge buff increases your damage by 15%. 
Upon accumulating 5 volt charges, they get consumed and you gain a volt strike buff for your attack speed, damage, and critical chance for 15 seconds. You cannot gain volt charges while volt strike is active, and you get an extra dash charge. Nice. And we finally found some boots, which again weakens our power, which makes me sad. Slapping birds out of the air. It's tempting to take over work, but I don't even know if our critical rate is high enough to make that worth further dumping our max health. I don't think it is, honestly. I think that's not a risk that's worth the reward you get. in the box away like no you can't have this that one's got money in it you can't have it no no money for you oh that's where they were holding all the boxes okay got a decent amount of money at that stage Bonus reward will probably be nice as well. Yeah. Uh, with how much health we don't have anymore, health regen really doesn't matter. Yes, give me the onk. Because we have... Yeah, we have 84 hit points now. <laughs> with all the max health decreases I've taken. And we have negative defense again. Oh, no. Uh, we do have enough power that I could put the light armor back on. Which, if I put that back on... Oof. We went from 44 power down to 8. Is it does such a huge flat drop that it then makes the multiplier do so much less. Okay, I was wondering if I could get away with putting that in the boots on, and the answer I think is actually yes. This way we get the defense. Is that just, we only lost less than one power off the boots because it's just a small 7% decrease. But oof. Some of this equipment really seems like it does more harm than good. <laughs> That's where our big negative defense is coming from, by the way, is the leggings. I actually should be taking the leggings off. Is the only really beneficial thing it's doing is giving a decent move speed multiplier. So let's actually get rid of those. Those are kind of cursed. We lost a little bit of power from it, but we got out of the negatives for defense. I do appreciate that you can actually change equipment on the fly. That's actually very nice of them. I could have been stuck with that light armor that we started this run with, and it would have been disgustingly bad for us. Like, we probably wouldn't have made it out of Act 1 if I still had the light armor on before we gained enough power for it to work. But I, I can see a world in which you actually carry multiple sets of armor on you and you cycle through them as the run progresses. Because you just have some that like have really nice benefits but hefty drawbacks. But once you're built up past the point where you can survive those drawbacks, they make a huge benefit. Yeah, 
It, it makes for some very interesting build concepts in my head. I just don't have the resources to make those build concepts a reality yet. Oh, and to, to clarify the other point about the, the games I got keys for, I'm not going to be telling what those games are just yet. Those will, as usual, be revealed when that stream's going to come up. Just in case anything falls through last minute on any of that, I don't want to reveal ahead of time. In case that was the other part of that question, and I misunderstood what the question was. Make our sword a little bit faster. Grab us some free loot. Uh, sure. Better card quality out of elite fights. Yes, please. Uh, make the sword bigger in exchange for less pickup range. That's probably going to have to do right now because we need to be able to reach out more. Which that's a whole real layer there, too. Oh, the shopkeeper wants an investment, huh? Here, have 5,000. Is this is what this does. The more you invest, the more you have a permanent shop discount. And since we had a good amount of money and I had a perfectly good path, I was considering avoiding the shop on anyway. We'll just leave the shop behind. I could have dropped the 10K and I probably should have, but I was still waffling. Internal indecision can definitely cause some complications. Okay, good. It is on the correct weapon. Swing my sword back and forth. I swing my sword back and forth. I would ideally like to get our attack speed up enough that the sword just gives up and it just becomes a blur of death in front of me. Oh, you two cacti have a lot of health, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Really not a fan of the fact that you're not dead yet. I would really appreciate it if the two of you would disappear. Okay, one of you disappeared. The defense shredding will eventually kick in enough that this matters. There we go. It's a good thing these cacti are really slow. Otherwise, we'd be in real trouble right now. Keep working the crossbow up till the crossbow is maxed out so it's out of the way. I won't actively fish for it, of course, just, you know. When it's an option, this way it stops popping up when I don't want it to. And making the crossbow as strong as it can get will also, of course, help us not die. Waggle, 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 waggle. Same with raising Death Aura up, though we really haven't been using Death Aura anymore. His things haven't been getting close enough without me needing to run for my life. Ooh, one free reroll every time you select cards. Yes, please. That will be huge towards benefiting our overall purposes. Uh, that's not enough of a change. What I really need for Death Aura to start mattering more is to massively inflate our area size further so that it actually reaches out enough to matter more. Uh, I don't want this, the Rune of Heaviness on the sword. I actually am going to put it on the crossbow. Because they already don't shoot super fast, but they do a good whack at damage. So 50% more damage on those means whatever they hit is going to really get hit. And that should help immensely. Look at that sword go. The sword of Noom. Keep buffing the crossbow with the rune. 
Don't you run from me. Get back here. Just because I'm not that fast doesn't mean you get to run from me. Slap, 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 slap. Eventually you will die. Slap, 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 slap. I, I really feel like I'm not even swinging a sword anymore. I'm just kind of slapping them around with like a Wiimote or a fish or something. With how ineffective this is. And I'm just waving it back and forth at them. This will do something eventually, damn it. Eh, 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 eh. No, there's a purpose to Ice Spirit. And it's actually on what I wanted it to be on. Because if something's close enough to me that Death Aura is touching it, I need it to slow down so I can get away from it. <laughs> Which actually, our Death Aura has increased a decent bit. It's actually past our pickup range now. So we basically just have a giant slow aura, almost the size of our, our sword around us. For some reason, my brain was only looking at the little green circle under our feet for our death aura, not realizing it had actually since increased. But I think that was also when we gained a couple upgrades for it, because you'll notice its range increases a decent amount with each upgrade, and then the percentage actually kicks in and makes it matter. So we just have a giant slow aura that chips them down a bit. And now it's the same size as our sword, which is exactly what I want. Keep making our projectile size go up. An arena or a question mark? Let's go to the question mark. And we're fighting anyway, as expected. Sure, I'll go ahead and take another level of aura conversion. Though our area size is capped out now because it stops at 50% area increase, I think. Judging from what it said on the card. I don't think it's just that that caps out. I think it's area bonus in general, because all of the bonuses have a, ca a hard cap. Go ahead and finish the Ice Spirit thing just so we get a bigger slow on everything that's in our vicinity. Because the Death Aura takes often enough that it basically is going to get that slow on them consistently. We basically just have a time-slowing barrier around us to keep us out of trouble a little bit. Which, telling you right now, at some point, that's going to shoot me in the back because of the fact that an enemy's going to slow down and I'm not going to account correctly for that when I go to move past them. So I'm going to turn and slam face first into them because they were slower than I thought. Calling it now. That's 100% going to happen. If that's how I die, I'm going to die laughing is that will just be so, so fucking normal for me that I don't even know what to do with that information. Yeah, that's just gonna be maximum typical. Ha ha, you fucked yourself over. It'll be so typical, it's ridiculous. Where's my attack speed bonuses at, damn it? I want more speed. 
There we go. That's not really a very good one, but you know what? You at least gave me what I asked for, so I'll at least take it. I will have the decency to take what I was offered. There we go. 25% to yes. Yeah, get us some projectile piercings so the crossbows are a little more effective. Uh, sure, we'll do the elite. He says knowing full well that it's going to take a thousand swings to break the elites, but that's okay. Uh, yes. Give me bloodthirst. Because as we chip through the little guys, it'll give us enough of a power boost that we can chip through the elites better. <sighs> Getting real tired of these bots. Die. I've also noticed, though, that Seribot's not popped up the last couple streams. I may want to check on that, see if I, like, need to reauthorize Seribot again or something. Or if they're having issues on their side. Because with how many more of those bots we've been seeing, I feel like it's worth checking on that. Is that supposed to be solving that problem? so I don't have to pause to get rid of them. Not that it's much of a pause to get rid of those anyway. But, you know, it's an inconvenience. Yeah, it's capped at plus 50, but we can go to 55 so that when we take negatives, we don't actually go back down below the cap. And... Eh, meh, meh. No. Yes, max out bloodthirst. Number go burr. Because <laughs> we seem to be hanging around like 20 stacks of it, so increasing the multiplier from the stacks will make a huge difference. Wow, we haven't seen accumulation in a while. Same with average. We haven't seen average much either. Uh, I can add nearly 300% more power and over 200% defense piercing in exchange for giving up our critical chance. Uh, I don't think we actually have that much of a critical multiplier right now. So I think that might actually be worth trading in. Alternatively, fighter fight and flight so I get the 50% attack speed while I'm moving around. And I did want attack speed. Attack speed. Because if we start swinging faster, we kill faster, which means we boost bloodthirst faster, etc. It also gives us some defense that we kind of need. Need to find some crates before the time before we kill enough though. I say as I'm not finding any crates at all. Jesus, come on. Where are the crates? Where have you hidden them all from me? I should have paid attention to the fact that I needed to break crates sooner. But I was focused on killing the champions. Rip. This is fine. More power. Double chance of heroic soul cards. There we go, max out fight and flight. And arena should be beautiful for us because that'll be enemies in mass and we take out crowds pretty good now with our or me mega Wiimote sword we got going here. Just rev up the lawnmower and watch it go. Crush their bones. Grind them into dust. Even more speed. 
Oh, hey, a bunch of gold boxes just in this corner because they pushed them all over here, huh? Okay. Free money for me. Like, eventually, we're just gonna get this sword up to a, such a speed that we're basically just gonna be cutting through their molecules by vibrating the blade back and forth. <laughs> Uh, I mean Fractal is one of my favorites It doesn't help our main weapon But splitting the crossbow bolts Will actually make a pretty nice difference For that weapon Since it fires kind of slow Getting extra bolts out of each shot Is gonna make a pretty hefty difference In its DPS I think every now and then we actually have two copies of the sword out at the same time. Is it swinging fast enough now? Which, in case you haven't guessed, that that is my... Well, no, you don't have to guess because I basically said it earlier that my goal is to break the animation with pure speed. Eat if at all possible. 50% experience gain multiplier. More power. Uh, now this is fine. More cards, yes. Like, we don't even have a high attack speed multiplier right now. And we're already attacking pretty fast. We also have a lot of money right now. So I can go kind of stupid here. And if you're thinking that I'm going to go kind of stupid here, you'd be correct. Because <laughs> I have no reason not to. Unfortunately, it's giving me some kind of awful rolls here. That's better. That's much better. Unfortunately, the reroll is now too expensive, but we still have 10,000 gold left, so that's good. We can take that to the blacksmith and have some fun. Almost maxed out the Rune of Heaviness on the crossbow, which is going to be incredible. <laughs> I'm waving my sword as fast as I can. But they're not impressed. Even more power. How much power are we at now? <laughs> We've only just gotten back up to how much power we had before I destroyed my power value by putting the armor back on. <laughs> we have a 1,622% stat multiplier right now. <laughs> but we have so little base power. Is almost all of our soul card power has been destroyed by that light armor. <laughs> oh no. Oh god. Like, I'm actually curious. How much power would we have if I took the light armor off? Yeah, that's... That's pretty accurate. Yeah, we go. We would go up to three times the value. <sighs> you know, I think it's worth taking that back off then. At least for now. That's not worth it. I could start knocking enemies toward myself. That just seems like a great idea. Except no, absolutely fucking not. <laughs> I might put the light armor back on when we go to do the boss fight just to be safe. But for arenas like this, taking it off makes sense because I can just guaranteed clean house. That's with all the enemies. 
Grab the fangs so we can get the bonus objective done because there's fangs littering the place. There we go. I wonder if you get more of a payoff if you bring more fangs because I can bring a few extras. <laughs> There we go, Rune of Heaviness maxed out. Yes, I can't afford the limit break service. Five attacks on the sword. Yes. Give me power. Give me power. I have regrets. Well, you know what? Let's see how stupid the spears get. Oh, hey, that's how not often I take the spear. Also, wait, I had throwing knife before. Oh, wait, no, I had the beta version of throwing knife, which didn't have a requirement yet. Right. Okay, well, we'll grab the upgrade for the spear since I grabbed base spear. I forgot that the card selector in the blacksmith only gives you weapons. I forgot for just long enough that we ended up with a weapon I didn't especially want, but it's okay. Massive stabity death will help us. Oh god, uh... Uh... <laughs> Something happened to our sword, and, uh... We definitely broke the limit. I can see the individual pixels of the sword now. <laughs> Part of that, I think, was it zooming in more. But definitely part of it was getting level 8 for the sword definitely made a difference. <laughs> this is stupid and I'm so here for it. <laughs> there we go, look at how much it's blurring now. Yes! Yes! Sword go burr. <laughs> oh, they made, made the spears a throwing thing now. Okay. It used to come out of you just like the, the pike did. The spears being a throwing weapon does make more sense when you have the pike as a weapon as well. Uh, you're looking at me having broken something again. This is what happens when you give me too much power. <laughs> I have turned this sword into a weapon of mass destruction. It may not hit hard, but it hits yes. How are you today, Evo? While I'm going crazy with a giant sword. It's supposed to only swing back and forth five times, but I have the attack speed up so fast that it, it doesn't register it's stopping anymore. So it just goes over and over and over and over again. <laughs> That's how you know it's working. I could put a Thunder Spirit on the giant sword now. In fact, you know what? Why not? Let's go ahead and put that on there. Just random chain lightning off of these innumerable swings. For the boss fight, we are zoomed in more, so it, the sword's not quite that big normally. There we go. But it is way bigger than it has any right to be. 
now to zone three. We might actually get a win this time now that I've stopped messing around quite as hard. Uh, I would lose 14% crit chance, which is not great. What's our crit chance right now? 50-50. Okay, I'm not too upset about losing some of that then. In exchange for taking our defense out of the negatives. Oh, I see. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, the sheer number of stats this game has... It's so ridiculous. Like, it already was ridiculous before, but this update that added the equipment system has, has just made the stats even more absurd. And I am so here for it. Nyom. You know, at this rate, I could get away with concentration. There we go, the swords aren't the entire screen anymore, but they do way more damage. <laughs> it's a little harder to count the individual pixels on the crystal sword right now. Exactly. It, it was already doing a decent amount of damage, but now it's doing more. Like, I don't know if you can read those numbers, but more often than not, it's doing 20k per hit. <laughs> At give or take a, a few thousand. Some of the hits are a hundred, a thousand. It, the numbers in this game, like, you can see it better on this elite here. One million before he died. <laughs> Keep raising the damage. They're still surviving. Mm. I still haven't beat Death Must Die either. I had unlocked, I think, all of the characters that were out at the time, and then I just kind of stepped away for, from it, waiting for more to be available. I do know they've been doing more updates for it again, so I really should look at that again at some point as well. This one just got priority today because the equipment update was literally yesterday, I think. It was either yesterday or the day before. Uh, no. I have no, I have no reason to use a controller with this. I've been using keyboard and mouse for this one. I've honestly not streamed with the fancy new controller that much yet. Ironically enough, not out of any intention other than making a joke of it the first time. Today, I just didn't have anything I really would have needed a controller for. But I did test it more yesterday and it was working quite well. And I have multiple things I'm planning to use it for coming up. They just aren't today. <laughs> But it definitely handles better than the old PS4 controller was, which shouldn't be a shock. Absolutely, that makes sense. It's easier to use a controller when you're on a treadmill <laughs> than having a mouse and keyboard on, like on the on or top of the treadmill or something. So that said, I'm still using the under or the desk treadmill I have even while I'm doing this. Still one of the best ideas I had was getting one of these.
if I thought there was a way I could hook it up to something that would actually have feedback results, I would actually try to do that just as a, as a bit. Like, take a bike game and rig it up so that pedaling the treadmill while I have actually pedals the... Uh, yeah, it's more of an exercise bike than a treadmill, but either way, you get the idea. Have it actually be a pedal controller instead of needing to get a specific video game bike. But that would be a whole headache to do, so that's why I would I would, would not actually do that, but it would be very funny. It would be physically possible, just it would require a bunch of rewiring and nightmarish actions like that to get the job done. Well, that, that's what I mean, is this, this is an under-the-desk bike. I just, I use bike and treadmill interchangeably since the function is more or less the same, even though the motion is different. But since this is one of the, like, very low O models, like, it's literally just two pedals and a display, basically, with a brace on it. So, it doesn't have a lot that I could work with to make something like that happen. But all it would take is actually wiring it in in order to have it do something whenever the number went up, basically. Uh, maybe. It, it would require the right kind of VR thing, because I'd be stuck in my chair to use it. So it would have its own counterbalance to it as far as the benefits go. And I can't really think of any specific VR bike games, really. I, I genuinely don't know if one really exists. Heavy pickaxe. I've never seen this, but it also only appears here, and we haven't been in here very long most of the time today because I've been fucking around too hard. Though this build really is a meme in and of itself, too, and it's just a meme that's working. Really? Another one of these today? Perish, bot. You do not belong in this world. And to be clear for those watching, I am only really interacting with a narrow band of what this game is capable of. There is a lot more you can do. I'm just memeing with hit real hard, or swing sword fast, mostly today. There's definitely more you could do. Which we have touched upon it a little bit here and there today. And we've also gone the extra layer of having the, the Thunder Spirit a bunch of times. Ooh, there we go. Electric Corruption, Synergy of Thunder Spirit and Necrotic Bone. Corruption increased the damage of Thunder Spirit by 82%. Eh. No, I'm kind of fine without that. Because if I increase the corruption too far, we're going to start having some real problems. Uh, that is worthwhile for the extra health, though. Because once we get to the mini boss and the boss in here, we are going to need some health to survive that. I don't really want to double down on it, though, and make our defense that negative. Because otherwise the health isn't going to matter, but it's just going to get deleted. Chop, 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 ch
that was part of my experiment with the the going as high into area range as possible was to see whether it would ever actually go more than half circle. The answer is no. Uh, yeah, go ahead and get us more defense piercing. Look at how much faster their health is going down now. As soon as I start cutting through more of their defense. Because, you know, these are big rocky boys. They have a lot of defense. Keeps trying to give me electric corruption. I don't really want it right now. I will take multi-handed to make our crossbow more effective though, and our spears that kind of exist probably become a little more effective when there's more of them too, I guess. <laughs> oh yeah, is anything equipped anything stupid? Uh, nope, that's all still correct, okay. Wanted to make sure I hadn't gotten any new weapon attachments and they'd gone like on the spear or something. Wait. No, that is correct. Okay. My eyes had kind of glazed over a little bit, so I thought for a second that the ice had ended up on the... the crossbow, which is not where it belongs. Guaranteed crit chance. Woo! Rip, tear, rend, destroy. Everything must go. Sure, I'll take Wrath, why not? This way when I hit crates, our area size will go up. Though, I think since we're capped already, I don't know if that bonus will even take effect. Uh, no, it seems like it's taking effect a little bit whenever it happens. And Lord knows we hit a wide enough area that I'm gonna hit crates without even realizing crates are on screen. So it mostly works itself out in that regard. We are kind of hitting just like cookie clicker levels of I don't have to do anything though. Oh, aside from push button occasionally. Okay, they might be about to force my hand and make me actually have to do stuff because they're about to try to murder me again. How much health do we have now that I did that? There we go, 506 health. That's much better than the 84 we had earlier today in this run. <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna offer that to me, I guess I'll take it and put us up to s nearly 700. That's what I should have done all of those other times when I was just going, you know what? No, maximum glass cannon. Ooh. Before you stands a golden altar adorned with a revered idol, surrounded by fervent cultists consumed by their love for wealth. They beckon for your offering, their eyes gleaming with an almost fanatical desire for material tribute. I could steal 17,000 gold, or I could give them 2,000. You all need to learn a lesson here. Give me the money. <laughs> Ooh, I lost attack speed. No. But I got money. <laughs> Worth it. Worth it. <laughs> I'm so gonna get punished for that, and I don't care. Oh wow, yeah, that actually impacted my attacking a lot. Eh, it'll be okay, probably. This is how I die. This is how I throw this run that's been going so well, is I steal 17,000 gold and die a miserable death because karma. I mean, I could just massively inflate my health bar right now. There we go. 
That'll make up for the fact I'm a little bit slower now with our over 1,000 hit points. I don't think we've even seen triple digits for health that often today, and we just jumped up into the into four digits. The, the things I do just to make sure we actually get somewhere, or I swear. Though, didn't I destroy my health regen at some point? I feel like that was this run. But they are admittedly running together a little bit. Uh, actually, no. Our health regen hasn't been devastated yet. We should probably raise it a bit, though, so it actually starts moving the health bar a meaningful amount. Ooh. I don't think we've seen acid coating yet today. Aside from, like, maybe once. There's getting to be a lot of enemies in existence here, though. We need to do something about all that. Ooh. I think we can work with that. We're attacking often enough that 100% critical rate doesn't matter. Whereas a ton more critical damage when it does happen will matter more. Basically, the, the good old roll enough on the table and the percentage doesn't matter bit. Which is not exactly the greatest logic, but it's not the worst logic either. Is it's a bad idea for gambling, but it's not a bad idea for attacking because of the fact that all you're losing is some damage if the crit doesn't happen. So technically it's only a positive. That too is flawed logic, but you know, it'll be fine probably. He says lying to himself. There we go. At the end of the day, it's gonna work out fine anyway. Just keep adding acid coating. This is where it's gonna either work out or not, though. The mid-boss, where we died before on the furthest we had gotten today. The sort of to whom it may concern. They are splitting a lot. Uh, you know what? This is a good point to add Fire Spirit, actually. Yeah, put it on the sword. That's where I want it. Mm. Look at all of that fire damage that's being set on them. And now when we kill with fire, we heal. Because we're going to need that. And now the real little dangerous part, dealing with this jerk. Split once. Yeah, no, we're chewing through the splitting often enough that we're going to be fine. Though, look at how many of them there are. This is why I was saving my spins for dealing with this mess. Is it helps keep their numbers down. Otherwise, the rate at which I'm breaking the big ones down would be unbeatable. They would just rush me down before I knew what to do with them. And that's why that fight's so dangerous. Is he multiplies so hard if you are dealing out a lot of damage. You need to have enough speed to be able to keep clearing it. Or it just overwhelms you. Contagious fire will definitely take. I'm a lot more confident that we're going to make it through this now. With how easily we disposed of that fight. But that fight has been just such a run-ender for me so often that I genuinely am always concerned going into that fight. But part of that's also the fact that I frequently use high damage, slow attack things or lots of easily distracted projectiles in this game, which is the two things that he would be the best against. So it makes nothing but sense that I would always have problems there. A setup like this, though, that just hits everything, doesn't care about that issue. It 
If I wanted to repeat this setup, we probably could get through rank C with this. But I'm not going to repeat the setup because what's the fun in just doing the same thing again? And at least we'll have come out of this having completed a challenge today. Instead of just dying, 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 dying. Something I should check is actually if the Gunslinger has different challenges, because I didn't actually check that at any point, I don't think. If anybody's wondering, yes, part of my brain wants to get revenge on the fact that we just got bodied so hard when I was using the Gunslinger. <laughs> I'm just not sure if it's worth it. Need to find one more crate before I kill 500 more enemies. There we go. There's the crate. Okay. Back to murdering. Chop, 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 chop. Oh, and to update everyone, we are going to still be doing the, the seven days to die server on Saturday. After... Or cooling down and thinking about it, it is absolutely going to still happen. I just needed to give myself a little bit of time to reflect on why I had been so frustrated with that whole situation. And then get that all cleared out of my head. Get our attack speed back up. So that will still be happening as normal. Complete with a neat little bonus attached to that that will be explained on Saturday. Provided that all works correctly. <laughs> Which, you know, that's always the fun part of situations with anything is, is it going to work? <laughs> In theory, yes. In reality, question mark. One more rolls on. I really should be using dash more so that I can actually get the, the lightning charges going. You know, it's tempting to go and take over work now to make the critical damage modifier a thousand percent. <laughs> The thing is, I'm not super worried about lowering our health. Is that just going to put us back in reasonable numbers? I'm more worried about the crits just not happening after we do this. He says he does it anyway. Is that's just how I be and we all know that? Yeah, because we've got a 21% critical chance right now. But... Our critical damage is 1,670%. One now that said, if I take these off, we lose a little bit of defense and a little bit of move speed, but we get that critical chance back. Though it only goes up by 3% because of the other modifiers kicking it back down. But it still takes it from a 1 in 4 to almost a one in f no it takes us from a one in five to a one in four just about i almost said that backwards and it was about to sound really stupid off to a shop to break the game probably since we have cheap prices and lots of money There we go, we unlocked health potion. Like, I could literally just sit here and buy out, like, this entire shop, but I'm not taking the cursed belt, because it's gonna hurt us a lot right now. 
Contagious fire. Not taking attraction because that's a bad idea. 950% attack speed. Fix our move speed loss. Get more corrosion. Ooh. Very nice, very nice. We have so much money. We have so fucking much money. <laughs> uh... Look how expensive the reroll got because of how many times we used it. It's so stupid. So stupid. I love it. Sure, let me heal my 90 missing health there. Max out Contagious Fire. And that's good enough. Because there is a, still a Blacksmith coming up. So I'm saving some money to limit break some stuff. Uh... <laughs> Your corruption is greater than five, so I can go ahead and wipe out the village and take things for myself. But now we'll go ahead and save the village again. So we can get the higher soul coin payout. Yeah, go ahead and put me in the positive defense. Look how fast this sword is going now. This is unholy. Oh no. <laughs> you thought this was a lawnmower before? This is true lawn mowing. <laughs> We've gone from lawn mowing to deforestation. This is so silly. I'm kind of shocked none of those bullets have managed to hit me yet. I'm not dodging, I'm just walking around and I've happened to just not get hit so far. Like, I wish I could say I'm this good at dodging, but I've literally just been walking through and I've been fine so far. There it is. <laughs> it was inevitably going to happen after I talked about it. But I just wasn't worried about it. It's just like, eh, you know. If it's ha if it happens, great. If it doesn't, oh well. It's funnier to call it out and see what happens. Oh no, I've had my health vaguely inconvenienced. Oh no. Just let this be a, a proof of if I really wanted to build myself to be basically unstoppable, I could. I just was choosing not to for most of today. Maybe it's more fun to do goofy things and see if it happens to work out. A swarm has no hope of beating me. Because they're just going to pile in and just feed the the bloodlust bonus. Ooh, double experience during this? Oh, yes, please. Give me all the XP. Nom, 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 Heal with everything that dies to fire. 
Like, we are basically locked at max duration for our damage bonus. Because we just don't stop ripping through them. Literally, the only thing holding back how fast that count is going up is just things being in range of us. <laughs> For those wondering why sometimes the sword just really goes nuts, it's me triggering the, the Volt Gauntlets we have that boost our attack speed and damage temporarily after I dash a few times. That's why I was saying I need to just start dashing a lot more so that we trigger it more often and just start really going crazy. Because it just needs five stacks and then it just goes zoom. Like this is when it really just can't animate anymore. trying to see how much past the requirement I can get before time runs out. Can I get to double? Can I double it? Not quite. We were close though. We almost doubled the optional requirement <laughs> in a minute and a half. <sighs> you gotta set your own goals sometimes. Blacksmith right before the final fight here. Limit break service. Uh, sure. Go ahead and take the crossbow past its limit. Which unlocks the ballista, the evolution of crossbow and throwing knife. Okay. When you dash, you throw multiple bolts in aimed direction. When immobile for three seconds or more, you enter siege mode. Ooh. Sadly, I can't look at what siege mode does in this situation, but that's fine. This is going to just get me weapons. And unfortunately, I can't reroll and get the the limit break service back, or I would just limit break another thing. I could just grab another weapon for shits and giggles, but no. We have enough weapons. Let's finish this off. Let's kill the Necromancer. Unfortunately, this won't be rank C Necromancer, so we still won't get the, the summoner. Which I still want to try the summoner. So I might do like one more rank C E run and just be smarter this time. Instead of going full full fuck around. If we do succeed in getting the summoner, I might do a summoner run to end off. It depends on how I feel by the time we finish, finish that other run, basically. So I am starting to get tired. We have been going for four hours now. Though I will say the, the variable success rate we've had today is definitely going to make splitting this VOD up a little bit more complicated. <laughs> There's going to be some sections of the VOD that are basically going to be sets of runs. Like just an entire like high corruption folly segment. Just like this is how you don't do high corruption runs. There's the Necromancer. Now the question becomes, can we actually kill him? Because he was a tricky fight before, and I suspect he's going to be harder now since they gave, gave them all extra like invulnerability phases and such. Ah, I have to stay in the ring for his meter to disappear for him, okay. That's actually kind of neat. Because it forces you to move 
and then actually stay in a confined space during the boss fight. Now nah, we got this well in hand though. Oh, he's got one last hurrah, huh? Okay. Oh, and that's far too. There we go. I wonder if there's a... Oh, wow. Yep, there's definitely a haha -ha, fuck you if you don't manage to do it fast enough. But we did it. Uh, ooh. Okay. Negative defense, but positive power instead of the way the other ones have been. We did it. Decent amount of mastery, decent amount of soul coins. And that was without all of these extra.